Hey cousins, it's Craig Harris Watsky, Eider and Stanley Watsky's oldest of two sons. Stanley was also known as Sonny by his brother Hebby and his sister Reenie and Eleanor. The Cousins Club was um, something I grew up with and felt like everyone in every situation was part of a Cousins Club. I was a little bit different than my other cousins because my brother Lance and Robin, my sister, and I grew up not in the Flushing, Queens area, but further away in Rosedale. And we got together as cousins through family things. Um, I remember my other cousins were getting together as uh, friends because they lived so close and I was the foreigner somewhat. I remember one time with the cousins, Gaggy sent um, Jay, Freddie, Terry, and Randy and I to the movies. Gave us a few dollars to go see the movies one day. And the film he picked for us to see was Dr. Zhivago. I think I was only eight years old at the time, and I was the oldest of this group of, of kids. Um, we wound up getting thrown out of the theater. Um, we were always pulling things. I remember one time driving in the car with Freddie and Gaggy and Nana and uh, Jay, and all of a sudden, uh, Freddie grabbed the baseball cap off of my head and flung it out the window. Um, we we got together. It, it was wonderful. Gaggy, uh, Terry says, was the glue of the group. Um, but it was really both Gaggy and Nana. They knew each other from the time that Gaggy first came from Russia. They lived in the same apartment building, and they grew up, and their love of fear, their love is something that made us all pretty strong and, and solid and gave us a great role model. They not only um, lived together peacefully, um, but worked together. I remember on Friday afternoon, Fridays was the day that Nana would take off from work. Um, that that they, that their store, uh, Watsky's Interior Decorators. Um, I remember when it was in Brooklyn, on Rutland Road, over by the train station. Um, I remember Jay and Freddie moved, lived a couple of blocks away. Um, we were playing hide and seek, and Robin pulled off a real good one. She hid so well that we couldn't find her and almost had to call the police. It was really wonderful. Um, I spent a lot of time with Jay and Freddie over at Gaggy and Nana's um, apartment, which was above um, an electronics store that sold radios and televisions. Um, it was a little apartment they would Outside their kitchen window um, was a little porch between the two buildings. And we remember hanging out with my cousins there, playing with them. Um, another time that really holds memories was watching the World Series at Gaggy and Nana's place. Um, they bought a color TV the very first year it came on to the market. And my parents would let me take school off that week and go and spend it with Gaggy and Nana. And often Jay and Freddie would come over and we'd watch the baseball game. I remember one time it was the bottom of the ninth inning and the Cardinals and the Yankees were playing. Um, I believe it was the Cardinals. Barney Schultz was the pitcher. He was a relief pitcher and came in. Um, he pitched one pitch to Mickey Mantle 
and Mickey Mantle hit the ball and is probably still traveling. Uh, and the Yankees won that game. Uh, it was pretty remarkable. Um, I grew up uh, a Met fan, um, but I, I was a New Yorker, so the Yankees were cool when they were in the World Series. Um, Doggy came to one game with us. Um, I, I remember one game Doggy came and I tried explaining the game of baseball to him and it was it was fun. Um, Jay and Freddie and you know Flushing is close to Shea Stadium so we all became Mets fans um, from the very beginning. Um, the best time for all for me to get together with everybody were the holidays and I remember Thanksgivings um, at, at I remember at Aunt Eleanor's place um, at Thanksgiving um, and she lived in an apartment building close to where Jay and Freddie grew up um, and I remember going there and the big thing um, wasn't that there was a turkey but they also had corned beef and pastrami and I had a great ball, wonderful time eating that stuff. Um, the Passovers were always great too. We In Brooklyn, we would sit in the back room, uh, put up a big table, and everybody would sit at this table, I remember that. Um, and then I remember a couple of years in a row, um, in the front room, which was Doggy and Anna's bedroom, um, we we just wrestled and, and just had a great time and, and played around with each other. Um, I remember visiting Jay up in Buffalo one year. Um, I hitchhiked up to Buffalo, New York and spent some time, about a week or so, with, with him. Um, must have been in the mid, late 1970s or 19... Early 1980s, I remember hitchhiking all the way up to Buffalo and realizing how big New York was. Um, there was mention of going away to the Catskills, um, and the lodge was mentioned by Terry. Um, I don't remember that the name of that lodge, but I do remember one year going up there. And it was winter, and there was snow, and I remember p playing snowball fights with my cousins. Um, things changed. That there, there were various groups of cousins. Um, it, it, Gagi held everything. Gagi and Nana held everything together, because there was their side of kids, but there were also the towels, which came from Nana's side which was Ronnie and Stuart, um, and, and Aunt Ruth, and Uncle Slurmy. And I remember, I have a picture of Uncle Slurmy holding me when I was maybe two or three years old. And he always was smoking a cigar. And right before the picture was taken, Uncle Slurmy burnt me with the cigar. And I never let him forgive, forget about that. Um, Later on, um, I babysat for uh, for Ronald and Ronnie and, and Barbara's kids. Um, it must have been 1967 because I remember being at their house watching Bob Gibson in the World Series. Um, I also discovered their record collection and they had some great 45s including Rock Around the Clock. Um, with, with Stuart and Marilyn, they moved into Laurelton, which is next to Rosedale. And I became close with Jeffrey for a while, um, even though I was a few years older than he, he is. Um, I would come out on my bicycle pretty often, and we'd play baseball in his little courtyard. Um, I, I remember just spending lots of time over there. Um, and don't remember why, except that I went off to college, that we 
uh, lost, somewhat lost touch with each other. Um, the, there was three groups of, of younger cousins, of which I was part of. There were the older group, uh, which was Gary and Shelly and Barry. And they s seemed like from another whole generation to me when I was a kid. They were already, by the time I became aware of things, they were already out doing their own things and living their own lives and having their own friends. And uh, they weren't with us kids roughhousing it. Um, then there was my group, and I was the oldest of that. Um, that's me, uh, Terry, Randy, Jay, and Freddie. And then my sister Robin came in, and she was the girl of the group, so she was slightly a bit aloof from this little group. And then on my 10th birthday, Lance was born, and he was a whole other generation of cousins. Um, but over the years, because of the group growing and, and expanding, um, it's been wonderful whenever we get together for weddings or bar mitzvahs. Uh, I, I just miss all those times. I, I miss Gagi amazingly. I miss Nana. Um, I, I'm, Gagi, I remember losing him. How much it affected my dad. And I remember seeing Nana for the last time at, I think, Barry's kids, um, Bas Mitzvah, out on Long Island. She wasn't feeling well, and I brought her, had to bring her back to the hotel. And it were always wonderful to visit. They always gave you some money and said, go down the street and buy a comic book, or, or go get a hot dog, or, or something. Uh, so it was really wonderful. Um, Uncle Hebby works for Waski's Interior Decorating. He, I, from what I understand, he went out and did the measuring and the installing of um, upholstery covers and stuff um, and draperies. Um, my parents were in that business when they first, when I was born. Uh, they had their own interior decorating business. <coughs> um, and then my dad got into insurance in 1957 when my sister was born. Um, no, strike that. Until 1959 when my sister was born. My brother was born in 1963. Um, Gagi his influence, I, I think, has a really big part of who I am, because he was creative. He was a mastermind. He had designs that had people coming back to him time and time again, and the same element that went into music went into designing, and I think for both my cousin Terry and I, uh, Gagi's influence was most profound in allowing us to be the creative people that we are. Um, but anchoring it wasn't cr the creativity. Creativity, I don't think, is an anchor as much as that business, um, pragmatic side of things. And that was Nana. Nana ran the business while Gagi was able to have the room to create. And that's what gave them that magic. Um, Friday afternoon, Fridays, Nana would take off and spend the whole day making a roast. And, and we'd go back to the house if I was staying with them, and she'd bring out the roast. Uh, politics were always an interesting thing. I remember one scorching argument with Gagi about Richard Nixon um, back in the late 60s. Uh, Next question. What was your family's politics? 
I don't know the politics of the rest of my family. I do know that my father was very active politically in the back rooms of the Democratic, uh, National, Democratic Party, and I grew up with politics being a part of things as much as the selling he did in real estate and insurance. It was all part of the same thing, and he was a mastermind talker and, and had the gift of gab that I wish that I had. Um, he, he could talk for hours and hours and hours, and I guess I have it somewhat, but not to the fluidity and, and demand that, that he had, and he had it all the time. Um, so... Politically, I grew up that, but I use the name Craig Harris because my politics were pretty far left and far beyond liberal, um, and I didn't want to have any conflict between me and my family. Well, that's an interesting reason. I wanted to be able to write uh, whatever I felt like writing without being trouble. I, I, I produced, I was pretty young, 16, but I put together the music for a uh, anti-war demonstration when I was 16, early 70s. Um, so I was already aware of that and influenced by my uncle on the other side um, into the whole beatnik philosophy. Um, politics were never really uh, discussed um, among the cousins. Um, it, it was like a non-issue. I do remember my, my aunts and uncles sitting down to play um, cards I found this photograph of Gagi and Nana um, probably 30 some odd years ago. There's my uh, nephew Jason, uh, Robin and Jeff's son. And it's been wonderful to hear from my cousins and relatives, my aunt, uh, Rini. It was great to see my Uncle Heavy when I was down in Florida last year. I wish he has a speedy recovery. It's great to see be part of a family, and I very much miss everyone. Um, I hope to be down in Florida. Uh, last year, I got a chance to have dinner with Freddie and his girlfriend, and that was really wonderful. And I hear from Robin. Uh, on a very regular basis of how everybody's doing. So I'm very glad to be part of the Cousins and glad that we have a Cousins Club. Um, so I hope we continue to stay in touch.